Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome back to the fun times. This is, uh, I am your friendly neighborhood Prax. This is my channel and tonight is the romance of the Blue Rose. I'm going to let everyone go around, introduce themselves, tell you all fine folks what's been going on, and then we'll get into the drama because that's what I want. I want drama. I'm here for the drama. There are M&Ms. I'm fully prepared to just snack and enjoy the drama. Uh, so, uh, first up, let's start with, uh, Simon this week. Hi, Simon. Oh, hi. Hey, I wasn't muted. Hi, I'm Simon at Wondering DM, and, um, today I am playing Vashard Dali, the, uh, wolfkin, uh, human from the forest of whatchamacallit. Pavin Weald. There we go. I found it. Yep. This is true. The Pavin Weald is what it is called in the upper northeast northern border of Aldis. And then directly under Simon, hey Lindy, how's you? Hi. Well, that's me. Hi, I'm yes. Lindy. I'm doing super spiffy. I'm very excited to play L Revka. She is, you know, she's a fighter, maybe also a lover. Um, there's a lot of things that went on in the last episode and two, and I just feel like there's there's gonna be a lot that happens as a result of those episodes tonight. And I'm very I'm very here for it. Also, I straightened my wig and I love it so much more. I do like the new look. It does work for her. I like Rebka. But speaking of people who have some interesting decisions that were made last week, hey, Lissa, how are you? How are you doing? Hello. Um, I'm Alyssa, or Xander Slamilton, as you see me on the things. Um, I am playing tonight Celia Valent. We're both she, her, using she, her pronouns, and both of us make questionable decisions in haste. Um, so we got that going for us. That's nice. Yes, there are some very interesting decisions being made. So many interesting decisions were made. But, uh, people who also made interesting decisions last week. <laughs> hey, Pooja, how are you? How are we doing? Hello, I'm doing well. Hey, everyone, I'm Pooja. Um, I am playing Delmay Therox uh, again this week. And last week she decided to be, I don't know, impulsive and uh, touch things. She probably should not have touched because they smelled like magic. I don't know. Uh, she made some questionable decisions, almost got her hand shooped into a window, but luckily uh, her friends pulled her out and she has all of her digits intact. And oh yes, Delmay and I both use she, her pronouns. And as for me, like I said, I'm your friendly neighborhood Prax. Welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new, this is Romance of the Blue Rose, and there are many, many secrets in this town of Veradadun, in Ver Duan, all in all this, in the northeast section, along the Rose River. But there is also a couple of commands that can be useful for people. Uh, number one, this handy dandy command uh, that lets you all see what the all the NPCs that the players have met look like and any points of information that they might know about those particular NPCs which is good because as we left off there was a house in town on the far ed eastern edge of town this house of uh, the, excuse me, Nahorns, uh, oh, okay. uh, I don't remember their names, uh, Redet, Randus and Mildit Nahorn, uh, it was, they decided to go investigate because apparently there was some moaning going on, I guess questionable moaning of some sort. And that led to the question of, well, do what? What do we do now? What? What? What's going on? Uh, they've been here to investigate some wild magic occurrences, some interesting things, some appearances of random pigs, 
as had been described. You. Thank you for that subscription. Um, and then there were some complications as they were investigating the Nahorn house. It was covered in dust and looked like no one had been there in months. This discovery of a large rose, blue rose stained glass window in the third floor landing that unfortunately seemed to be much more than a rose window actually has some sort of ties to the Dark Fae, Dark Fiends, and the Shadowlands. But after defeating the creature that appeared to be a window, the magic was broken, and the dust and decay kind of spun together, cleaning the whole house, revealing the unconscious and dehydrated forms of Randis and Mildred. Uh, you put both of them to bed in their master bedroom, and I believe that's where we left off. What would you like to do now? I mean, step one is to finish my obligations as a medical professional and make sure that there is water by both of them and some kind of you know instructions of how to take care of themselves after they get back like just like a note with like you know this is this is in general the the prognosis you'll be fine make sure to hydrate probably more than you think you need to for at least a while please if there's any other things contact somebody that's a medical professional in this town i assume um just the the, the sort of basics of your mm -hmm. your professional duties while not making eye contact with anybody just no eye contact um delme will be probably helping with that um but also kind of looking to see what Bashar's wounds are. Make sure he's okay. Um, if I remember correctly, um, the damage I took was not, like, physical, right? Like, the spell that the Dark Fiend used to, to harm Fashard was sort of a like psychic thing. Yes, it was a psychic thing. It hurt your head a lot. So I think and um, it did if, the same oh. to uh, Cecilia as well. Okay. Mm. Um, I think it fits if it's okay with Cecilia too. Um, the uh, visible um, scars from that wound would be uh, blood. Um, dripping down from um, Vishard's ears. I assume we're twins in that regard, since we both got the same injury. Yeah. I, I um, don't know what injury I took. Was it the same thing? I took. I have two points of damage. You took I two believe of... yours was from touching the window that you weren't supposed to touch. Yeah, but what did it do to me? I don't remember. <laughs> your point, your, it tried your... to spaghettify spaghetti. your fingers, which is a word that has lived in my head rent-free for a week. <laughs> Welcome to astrophysics, people. There, there are some very interesting words that kind of come out of science when people are just like, yeah, we like this term that fantasy cre or science fiction created and we're going to stick with it. Um, but you you don't... I mean, it's it's two points of damage. That was mostly psychic, I believe. Psychic, you, okay. I yeah. was just curious, yeah. It, the Most of this the creature's damage, it didn't get to bite any of you, so it didn't do mm. any physical damage to you. Thanks. But it did a lot of psychological <laughs> other forms of damage. Sure did. Psychological, emotional, that's fine. And uh, I believe that Cecilia was recovering from being like the worst migraine ever curled up on the floor. Um, but yes. 
that is where we left off. Uh, you, and you did know that the by the time you had finished putting uh, Rodanus and Mildred back to bed, the two, um, it was well after dark at this point. So, what would you like to do? What do I know about dark fiends? Because we fought one of these, and I'm a slayer, and they're my prey. So yes, is, is it gone? Could it have been responsible for the all the chaos that's been consuming this town over the past while? For all of it, uh, you would know that it. Hmm. I. Th because you know enough, but there's some things you might not know. So... I might not know, yeah. What would you like me to roll? So... Historical lore? Let's uh... see. Let's see. Um... Historical lore could work here. I was also going to give you um... fighting with a plus, you know, like a focus, like quote-unquote uh -huh. focus for your um... Yeah. For your uh, slayer style. Sure. I I will I'll roll that then for my slayer because that sounds more slayer y. Yeah, uh, I'll just click as legending. But imagine it being saying slayer. Yes, that's what we're gonna go with. We're using it that way. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so with a fifteen, you are pretty sure of a couple of things. One, particularly for you, you had a much more seventeen. It's not doing the modifier things again. Why seventeen. Does it yes. Hate me. Um, Why does it hate me so? I don't understand. Um. So, it. first of all, you would know a couple things. Number one, based on its interaction with you, and you, yeah. you're you pretty sure of some things, particularly as it tried to connect with you mentally and other things, that it was pretty much, it was probably a whisper. Okay. Of a dark fiend. And dark fiends <sighs> are creatures from the depths of sh the shadows. They are creations of the Exar exarchs, the major demons. Um, mm -hmm. Possibly aspects or emanations or even spawns of such things. Um, lesser dark fiends are often servants of sorcerers. Um, while the more powerful are tempters and corruptors without their own equal. Um... They're all bound to the Exarchs and are plotting to corrupt the whole world and plunge into darkness forever. Okay, cool. Cool. Kind of. Um, and you would also know that the Whispers in particular are... They follow humans and, or not mm -hmm. humans, but people of all this, not just humans, but Vata'an and Vata'sha and night people and sea folk and everyone. And they are tempters, usually. Okay. Uh, and, but the way this worked, it was more than that. Um, they're monstrous and hideous which is like the long talons with the too many fingers yeah. and too many knuckles excuse me too many knuckles not too many fingers and it is sweet in its temptation as it tries to give you exactly what it believes you want based on its understanding of your own psychic connections but this is more, this is strange, because usually those kind of whispers are not bound to a physical object. Mm-hmm. The fact that this was kind of tied to a portal seems intentional. Seems like someone did oh. this intentionally. Deliberately. Oh, that's fantastic. And you are also pretty sure that whispers are usually, although they have magics, like some of you experienced, um... <laughs> in the painful sort, they don't... They don't usually create other magical effects, right? They are they want to tempt people to do bad gotcha. things. Yeah, they it's... don't want to just fuck with shit for fucking with its sake. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's unsettling, then. That means there's someone else behind this. Cool. That's fine. 
she'll so she'd just be sitting there i think after helping getting the farmers into bed and just be thinking about the just ruminating her shadow demon knowledge things looking a bit shell shocked still emotionally how, upset how how's Rifika feeling right now uh not great uh not she's she had a, she's having emotions and she'd rather not have them <laughs> Yeah, um, Vashard is conflicted with what he saw in, uh, on the landing a few minutes earlier. Um, if, uh, Delmay approaches him to look at his wound, he would, uh, turn to her and just say, I, I think I need some fresh air for a moment. Would you like some company, or...? Uh, I... I wouldn't mind someone from home, yeah. Okay. Um, and I will turn to Refka and Cecilia and just say, we're going to go take a look outside and see if there's anything else we can find. Hmm. Okay, very well. That was definitely only part of the problem. It was not the source, so be careful. Mm. Of course. Oh, great. That's exactly what all of us want to hear. Sorry. Sarcasm is not usually my go-to. Um, my apologies. Uh, Revka, do you mind grabbing a... a th well, there's two glasses here. Can you grab a third glass of water for the, the, mm -hmm. the Mr.'s um, the Mister's Nahorn? Of course. Thank you. I'll, um, with Asen, uh, in tow. Yes, um, of course. Uh, unless specified otherwise, puppers are in tow. Yeah. The whisper guy over to Delmay. Unless I will officially assume her to that, guard. I will assume that puppers are always with you unless you tell me otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, so once we're once we're outside, um, the shard would turn to, uh, to Delme. Please tell me I didn't see what I saw up there with Cecilia. Oh, I wish I could, but, uh, unfortunately, that was exactly what he thought it was, and... I had no idea. I mean, given what I know of her, I have to think that it's something she has delved into from purely a scholarly desire to know and not something more nefarious, but I suppose I don't know her all that well, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the reason. It was still shocking in the moment. So. Yeah. It's just how... I don't know if I can trust her anymore. Uh, sorcery is a slippery slope. Once yes, you start... Is. I know, but she she's my mentor and friend and if if she's I also feel I owe it to her to try to prevent her from sliding down that slope if I can. Be careful, Delmay. Um I don't want her to bring you down with her. Well, I don't... Well, I don't think she will, but I'm glad to know that I'll have you to watch both of our backs. I'll do what I, I can, but... 
my encounter. Then... Oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I've encountered sorcery before, and it never ended peacefully. Do you get the... From what you know of her, does she seem to you to be like those other sorcerers you encountered? Mm. Now that I think of it, I know very little of her. She just... She might have used her powers to force me to open up. I I felt like I could tell her everything. I've never felt that before with anyone. It, it just seemed like it was a, a, a natural thing to do, like... Like the flow of a... A river or moss growing on the forest floor. It just felt like it was her place to listen and mine to talk. But now I I never thought of putting up a shield. Yeah. Why why would you? He was your confidant. But I'm sorry to have that level of trust betrayed must be well I cannot I do not envy you your position <laughs> but if you cannot have hope for this I will for both of us I will hope that we can pull her back from whatever precipice she stands on. And I can get back the mentor I trust, and we can maybe at least be able to look at her, if not trust her. I feel like you're the only person I can trust now. I don't know if I can say I truly aren't that. After all, most of what you know of me is from our letters. But I will try everything I can to make sure I do not let you down. After what you did today, I owe you. I only did what any of the finest would have done for anyone. I know, but so my oldest friend in the world did it for me, and that's not nothing. For what help I were, I was. Oof. You should be hey, thanking look. Asen. I have ten fingers. You do. And that's a good day. Yeah. But speaking of Asen and uh, um, Dalme will reach out to Asen a little tougher and, you know, make sure uh, Asen is comfortable and uh, if he indicates that he is, he'll give him a good little scritch and thank him. Say... Hmm? What do you know of Revka? Uh, she can hold her liquor. She can throw a punch. And, uh, she's a really good... She's a good person to have on your side. Not just in a fight. Of course, in a fight. That, that part's obvious, but... I think she always has more of an idea of what's going on than one would expect. I think she has a way of just mm. having her ear to the ground. She's a good oh. She's one of the few new friends I've made here. And uh, yeah, she's she's good people from what I've seen so far. 
That's reassuring. Not... Not the image I had of her. But... What, what has your experience been with her? Painful. Did you get into a fight? Sort of. It was a... hormone-fueled sparring match. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but she took it too far. Well, it was a long time ago. Have you, have you talked about it since? <sighs> no. Of course not. It's, it's not going to bring back the knee that she broke. Wow. That's more than I would expect from a sparring match. But, uh, Same. And you don't have to tell me, but uh, is this something you spoke to Cecilia about? Not yet. I was just, I, I, I was curious because um, I think she has a different impression of Ravka than you and I even. And, uh, I don't know. On the one hand, I feel like the Cecilia that I knew would probably take it upon herself to fix it. Um, and I really hope that's the Cecilia that I we continue to know. Yeah. The scenario I have in my mind is... not good. Mm -hmm. I... I need to rid myself of these thoughts. If, if you want to go back in, I'll scout out the farm on the outside. No, I'll stay. But I will say one thing. We don't have to talk about this anymore after that. But that, but if you find yourself unable to trust Cecilia, I think it's probably best that you find some way to at least function well as peers with Revka. Because having two people you cannot rely on on a mission like this is just think that will be untenable. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, it falls. Oh, I wish Russ was here. <laughs> it falls upon me, I guess, at the moment to hold the cohesion in, in our team. And lead. Gods, yes. I don't know if I can say we look to you to lead, but I certainly do. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be one of the finest if you couldn't handle a little pressure. I normally strive under a certain kind <laughs> of pressure, but don't you find it strange that the crown put all of us together. This is a different type of pressure. This is. I can't pretend to understand the goings on of the crown. I hardly expected to find myself out here to start, but I'm here. And uh, I'm learning. <laughs> Celine Willing will find a, will find the wise and reason behind it all yes. one day maybe but in the meantime and, uh, Delmay will turn to whisper and tell her to go sniff out weird things just kind of send her running around to scamper and 
you know, shake her snout at things. I'll, um, I'll tell Asin the same thing. You know, watch out for a whisper. <laughs> so that's going on outside. Concerns and questions of reliability, connection, trustworthiness. But what is going on inside? As we pan the camera back, watching the two wolves slightly frolicking for a moment before they get down to work of actually sniffing out the surroundings of the farm and making sure things are up. <laughs> you get... We're gonna follow the camera inside the, do the window of a house, kind of a nice tracking shot inside. What are Revka and... Uh... <laughs> Cecilia doing? Revka was asked to fetch a glass of water. So she is fetching two. Um, and then she will come back uh, with the glasses of water. I imagine that takes her a couple minutes. Uh, comes back with the glasses of water uh, to Cecilia. And I brought you a glass as well. I figured you might need it. Uh, thank, thank you. Um, and Cecilia would probably put it notice. Down and get to work. <laughs> um, so she's in medical mode. That Revka's eyes are pretty bloodshot as well. Do you do you perhaps need to to take a moment? Um, mm, there seems I, I will to be, be a, fine. There is a very nice stuffed chair in this corner. Uh, there seems to be two. What a very cute little couple they are. Um, pulses seem fine. Everything seems. They're seems just tired, dehydrated. Yeah, it, it would seem to me that whatever was in our window seems to have kept them in some Shadow sort demon. of. Yes, should I Beamed. Thing. I will do my research later on the specifics, but um, I can fill you in on most of it, most likely. It, if you would be so kind, that would save me a great deal of of work. And there are I... not a lot of books out here as well, so I figured I should just tell you what I know. Oh, you make a good point. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that I didn't bring anything with me that would help. So... Uh, perhaps, perhaps a conversation is worth having. Um, no, it's, it would seem to me that they were kept in some kind of perpetual motion state and have appeared to not only dehydrate themselves, but have existed in some sort of state of permanent exhaustion. So I'm hoping that perhaps just a good night's sleep. And mm. I believe these instructions and there's just a sheet of paper with them. Essentially, your after <laughs> appointment summary. Hi, you were abducted out. by a shadow fiend demon thing. If you need I'll this, contact right this. Blah, 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 blah. Just, you know. I, I think this this <laughs> says it all. Um, something tells me we yes. shouldn't stay in this house, but I don't... No, probably not. They did not invite uh, us. But uh, we could check in in the morning. Uh, yes. Or mid-morning. Give them time to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're not scared of me in this moment. And I feel as though that something happened to you with that window that is bothering you. Uh, it is nothing, really. As uh, Delmay said, it, it is like your family members calling to you. It is. It, I had not heard from uh, my family in quite some time. It just made me a bit uh, emotional. But, you know, people do what they need to do in the moment sometimes. And Ye yes, generally there is they do. Not much wrong with that. No, I'm sure to, uh, hearing voices of your family, if you have not been in contact, is alarming. I certainly have not heard from mine in many years. Yes, it made me very homesick. And I'm very sorry to hear that. How long I, has it been? Since it will have... pass. I have not seen my father in uh, five years. That is that is quite a while. I assume it did not end on very good terms, or you would be in touch. Uh, it. We fell out of touch. Hmm. 
let these things happen. They do. You know. I understand. Uh, if you would like to talk about it, um, perhaps not in the bedroom of Yes, not in their bedroom. Strangers. We should let them sleep. We should leave this room, right? That's... Yes, probably. Okay. And she'll get the door. Yeah. And why should I be scared of you? Um, sometimes uh, I, f I find that other people don't enjoy talking to me for very long and sometimes um, given the specific version of my profession that I engage with people don't trust me on hand right away and also we haven't had very much of a conversation in quite some time have we Ravka? It has been a little while yes <clears throat> so I I I don't mean to put a pressure on it. It's just, you know, so if, um, I mean, obviously the, the, the window bit was strange. Um, Very much so. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in general, it's not that we've had very many conversations, if at all. Just a few brief ones. That, I, I'm told it would be better if that were not the case that um, which makes it sound like I'm saying we shouldn't talk but that's not what I'm I'm not not if you don't if you want to um, I you'll have to forgive me I'm I've, I'm still a bit recovering from uh, yes you were headache. on the floor you were uh, all writhing in pain it looked yes. very unpleasant yes I'd imagine it hurts a lot have you ever had a stress headache? You know, those th yes. they just come because you're stressed. Mm -hmm. Imagine that, but more. Like, mm -hmm. every exam ever was on the same day within the same uh, hour, and you had mm -hmm. much less time. It was very bad. I Yes, I would imagine so. Yeah. Not great. Um, it looked like it felt bad. Probably. Probably it was the... Um, well, we don't need to assume intent of a creature that does not have intent that we know, now do we? Well, its intent is to tempt, corrupt, no. make people do bad things. So it did what it was. It did that, yes. That is what they do. <sighs> that is why Maybe? I brought you a glass of water. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been holding this the whole time and just have... I suppose I should drink this. You should hydrate, yes. Yes. I, if you were it looked like it took a lot out of you. Indeed. She's just gonna down the whole thing. Expert chugger. Ah, my. Yes, but... Per perhaps we should talk about things at some point at some maybe. points yeah. we do I need mean, to deal with the problem in town but it is getting yes. quite late yes. um, there is a tavern these... there in... is a tavern yes in town uh, they have I... rooms I would assume I, I would hope I would hope more importantly they have alcohol ah I, yes uh, don't mm. often prescribed drinking, but I believe this is one situation in which I will go against my own better medical advice and say, let's, we should Another reason you should hydrate. Yes. 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 Uh, you know, Queen Jaylin, before she was queen, she used to have a very famous method for drinking. She called it the Owow system. It was one wine, one water, and you would drink one wine and then you would have one glass of water. Um, the longer this Ow. system went on, um, the oh wow became just dumping wine into sparkling water. It was quite tasty, but it did not help with the hangovers the next day. I, I see. Hmm. I will tell you about the shadow fiends and shadow demons while we walk. Yes, we'll, we'll walk and talk, walk and talk. So shadow fiends are the window. Yes, and she will basically just 
rattle off the information that Prax gave me when she's I made take, my roll. She's going to take notes as she walks because she's that kind of person. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And outside, if, if we see Delme and Vichard, mm-hmm. um, pause. Are we continuing searching? It is getting quite late. Are we calling it good for the night? Is anyone going to watch over the farmers? They should be all right for the evening. But Have if you the... feel that leaving a guard or something of that sort would be fine, I believe... I do not get the sense that there's anything more we can do for them until morning. No, we dispelled the whisper. Uh, have the puppers found anything? No, the okay. puppers have not found anything. Let me phrase that. Okay. They found a couple hairs. Mm-hmm. They found the chicken coop. Yeah. Oh, yes. They found Please. farm things. They found farm things, things that they're not supposed to. Nothing that doesn't match the farmers or what's supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust the chicken. It's one shady chicken. You know, I find, I find that chickens in general to be quite onerous creatures, and they, they taste better when they are breaded, fried, and put on a plate. All right. Well, I might come and check up on them later, but mm. tavern it is then. I think we've all deserved a celebratory drink and something to make the pain go away. Hmm. The best, let's go get some of the best anesthetic out there. I mean, technically, no, it's not the best. It is, you can the use it as an enjoyable. I mean, there's many versions of best, Cecilia. But you're specifically requiring the medical term for best, and that is not what that... You know what? Let's just go drink. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, who who made sure to memorize where the tavern was when he got into this place? I mean, this, this <laughs> village is like three streets. I know. Yeah. And it's the big one with the bar sign. Because there's yeah. a mug it, of beer on the front of it, so I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at I'm it. I'm so it's... proud to be all of your friend. <laughs> and we go straight to the tavern. <laughs> um, straight off. Yes. Hopefully, you... hopefully we don't encounter another teleportation. Hopefully we don't encounter anything. Portals. Could you roll me a? All of you could roll me a perception if you, as you walk back through town. Yeah. Sure. Oh, should we? <laughs> yeah. I can do I that. Mean, you could. Is Good it a choice. seeing? Am I using my see, eyeballs? You could use seeing or hearing. Your I'm gonna choice. use my eyeballs. Well, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm just gonna use general, and then I'm gonna make a whisper roll. She's a good girl. So far, everyone's rolled fairly well. So. Well, I mean, twelve for the pupper, ten for me. I mean, fair, fair. Oh, wait, uh, but I have, I have. Stun points. Yeah, actually, so many of you get stun points. This is really yeah. Kind of, you oh, so many yes. Stunts. I didn't get yeah. stun points, but I did get a fourteen. Yep. Straight up in here, stun. Yeah, don't make uh, yeah. yeah. with this and this stun game. points. Um, I'm gonna use three of my stun points to just re-roll my my ten, basically. Okay. Just do okay. the. That Where's makes it? me wonder. That makes me wonder. I suck. Wait, we can ro- re-roll with three stunts. Did it? Did you roll a, a focus? I don't have any focus uh, okay. that is worth it in perception. Yeah, um, uh, Pooja, if you have three stun points, there is one stunt in exploration that is uh, that makes me wonder. It means you get to re-roll and you take. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, you use both checks, but like if one of them didn't succeed, like whatever, it's. It's basically like advantage. Okay, yeah, her first one was better. Yeah, 13 the first time. It's basically an advantage. Um, you get to choose whichever one you use. There, it's dark. The lights of the town have started coming on. The individual, the market has closed, but the um, lights of the bar, which again, very simple sign just a big picture of a mug on it um as you get closer you 
There, it's a three-story building, red tiled roof. Uh, there is an actual wraparound porch that kind of goes all the way around the building and in the door is kind of in the center to one side. Um, there is a very old kind of scratched lettering around the outside of the door. Uh, it says the quaint traveler. But most, you know, it's, it's dark. There's a lot, there's not a lot going on in town, but there's a very lively sort of music coming from inside. Um, not local, as you would say. Not something really Alden. Something a little different. Uh, it's not familiar to either uh, Vashard or Revka. Uh, Cecilia and Delmay, what languages do you speak again? Um, Old, Vatan, and Aldis. I don't think I actually picked the second one besides Aldis, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm sure I speak something. Is there is there essentially the equivalent of Latin, something that nobody actually speaks anymore but reads very fluently? I feel like that's more Cecilia. I mean, Aldous is, was the Aldous was the center of the original empire, so Aldous was the original language. So basically, it's like you might speak old Aldous. That could work. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Anything that would be archaic and useless to anybody that doesn't spend their life in a library. Oh, yeah. well, I'm old Vatazin. That's what my old language is. Vatazin, yes. I, I, I don't know why I picked that, but it seemed like it was something literary and just like that. I went with a bookish language. Yes. Yes. Um, you uh, make your way inside. Um, it's warm and inviting. It smells pleasantly of spices and uh, cooked meats. There's music being played by a group of um, humans at the corner in front of the fireplace. It's kind of like not really a stage, but a very like an area that had been opened up by moving a couple tables out of the way. Um, the mix of people from town, most of the lo they're all locals, most of them are look Alden, um, varying shades of uh, Mediterranean tan and dark hair and a couple blondes, um, but they kind of are really the abnormality here. Uh, there are a few night people, like you, the gentleman that you met in the uh, square earlier who sells uh, the fabric salesman. Uh, but the musicians and the gentlemen behind the bar are all very tall and um, are human black. Uh, you would know that most of people, that that would be, all of you would know because it's just general knowledge, um, that those are people from the um, Lartian Archipelago and the Matriarchy of Lartia. Hmm. And the gentleman behind the bar, tall, has a ready smile, but definitely gives the air of competence, uh, paying attention to everything, watching. Um, a good a really good barman kind of thing. Uh, he's got a very close-cropped beard, um, and he wears a uh, short head wrap um, that he's kind of tucked back against the back of his head, and a number of large bracelets going up his arms. Is there like an empty booth or a table kind of to the side? Uh, there, is, towards? there is definitely 
Yes, there is an empty table towards one of the sides, uh, further away from the musicians and the bars. Um, are you inviting the puppers in, or are they staying outside? If, if they're allowed in, yes, they're going in. This is Aldous. Animals are treated really, really well. Your companions are invited in, and there are a couple, if you look around, very obvious Raiden in the space. Mostly a couple of Rycats, which are like kind of taken over their own little corner booth. They look like domesticated house cats, but they're a little bit bigger. Um, okay. And have some very avant garde jewelry choices um, and seem to be debating amongst themselves the appropriate um, who has the best shiny. <laughs> if you, I, I mean, you'd have to like. Because they're rye cats, it's all psychic communication, so it's not really something you can kind of eavesdrop on. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there are a couple... Well, one that you will see kind of making its way kind of comfortably in front of the fire. A, mm -hmm. a very unique species to Aldous. Um, oh, what's the name of it? The very most special of cats. With wings. Flying kitties? They're flying kitties. And they're naturally, a, they're fall cats. And they are common familiars, you would know. But if you will sit down, the owner, bartender, gentleman behind the bar, kind of nods to you um and like five minutes later a young uh woman actually a young night woman a uh, night person woman appears and there's a large platter of s roasted meats and spices uh a little bit uh, very much a um, with a very flat bread and all of it's kind of there to be eaten together. Um, not really you local Alden delicacy, but if, for those of us in the United in modern America, if you've ever been to an Ethiopian restaurant, that's what ends up showing up at your dinner, at, at your plate, at your table, and a couple glasses of water. I'll turn to uh, the night woman and say, um, you serve any wine or other alcohol in here? And she'll nod and just kind of like look to each of you. And then without actually verbalizing, ask, you would hear each of you in your mind how many <laughs> Delmay will say two ales for starters whatever the biggest and strongest bottle of wine you have um from Vashard she would only see uh various images of different meads and uh ales ale bottles all of them <laughs> yeah it's like it, I, I don't know anything glass of something she nods probably red she <laughs> maybe nods. multiple glasses for the wine yeah she nods again and uh she kind of flips her hair behind her ear and as she does so you see a very large scar runs across her throat mm. and then she just smiles nods and walks behind the bar and a few minutes later a very large tray appears and there's a kind of like a jug of wine is set in front of Cecilia there's a couple bottles like th two or three different bottles of mead that show up in front of the shard 
Del May has her own kind of like two or three bottles of ale. And Revka, there's a bottle that kind of looks like it's a little covered in dust. And she just kind of smiles, nods, and walks back. She kind of works the tables. Mm hmm. Brush off a little bit of the dust. Vintage is this. Well, uh, Delmay will hold up a bottle. Cheers to uh, getting through whatever that was. Our first assignment. No, oh, the Dark Fiend. Oh, that is that is that is strong. Yes, that's what I asked for. Cool. Hmm. Let's try some of this food, and Delmay will dive in. Yeah. Um, I assume the food is delicious. I assume so. The food is fabulous. I have a question, however. How is everybody with? How are people with various types of spice? Let's put it this way. How are Revka and, you know, Vashard, who both are from the inland, furthest away from any place that would serve this yeah. kind of meal, but with something that looks very much like Harissa? <laughs> Yum. I grew up on roots and berries. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, hmm. When she was a wee lass, what would she have eaten in Kern? Potatoes. Probably a lot of potatoes is what I was thinking. <laughs> so probably not amazing. Um. <laughs> yeah. No. I think. Uh. I think most of these spices are new to him. Vashard is more accustomed to sour tastes because of like berries Same. in the woods. His fermentation and, from. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And and whatever sort of taste comes with mushrooms. Umami. And, um, otherwise, like, yeah, he, he's very much, you know, like taking a bite and going like, oh, 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 oh. Rivka isn't making any of those. She's just, her face is red. And there might be, like, some, some tears threatening to spill over her eyelids, but she's, she's just, she's not sweating. Firm. She's probably sweating, but but none of the tears have come yet. She's been holding yeah. out, like she's been drinking a lot. She's been she's been just been enduring the pain in silence. Yeah. When the when the, <laughs> the, the polite barmaid comes back, I'm going to politely ask for some kind of milk beverage for those that cannot handle the spice, because water <laughs> or alcohol is not going to help your situation. Ow. Ow. Making it your might eyes a little more bloodshot. numb them. <laughs> <laughs> it might generally numb you, but if you'd like to get the burning to stop, yeah, then um, have have this for sure. Oh, sorry, it's I didn't even think about it. Um, I'm assuming that in growing up where she did, once she left the forest, Elmi has been more accustomed yeah. to all sorts of cuisines. You know, and it's probably just did things like going to restaurants in the city. <laughs> yes, you would probably be more experienced to this, particularly because of the where the matriarchy is and the, the sea trade, particularly with Aldous. Um, the barmaid would nod her head and just kind of smile. Um, as she appears in two seconds with a round of what smells like goat's milk. But that thicker, um, not quite goat's milk, but not quite yogurt drink that you get in a lot of North African restaurants. It's kind of like slightly, um, a little spiced with cinnamon and, um, oh, what's it called? I can picture it, because it's always part of my standard Ethiopian order, <laughs> but I can't think of what it's called right now. Like, like if it was an Indian food, it'd be like a lassi. Yeah, but it's it's got a, 
a different name. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a lassi without the fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, usually, it's, salty, it's usually like cinnamon and cloves. Mm-hmm. Usually. Yeah, it's like oh, cinnamon and cloves, a little bit of yogurt, and a little bit of goat's milk, kind of, is what it basically is. Yeah, I, I never do so, a sweet lassies. I'm a salty lassie girl all day. Uh, I love a rose lassie. Not lassi. quite my... kefir. Oh, thank you for that. Thanks that goes for the our, tip. That goes to our wonderful art fund. Um, but yes, it's a, it's a very, very beneficial, you know, it's soothing and calming and has its own kind of really pleasant or both a warming aroma, both in flavor, but also in scent and just emotional bonding feel. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. Emotional? No. It's pain. I- it's... I uh, <laughs> I mean, I definitely like push my cup towards those who might need it more. Yeah, Vash is pretty much like emptying half of the cup. I'll slide mine to him because he seems just in case. Yeah, Revka's definitely. She she took a sip, was like, "Oh, this has feelings in it." Set it down, and then just just continuing to eat until she's full. She will deal with the pain afterwards. Um, but she's just gonna get it all out of the way because there's two types of people: those who have a sip after like every bite, that's me in real life, and then those who are like, "Let's just get it, let's just eat it real fast, and, and then, then go, have Ooh. the beverage afterwards." Yeah, that's that's what Revka's doing. <laughs> and it's like. Ah. Just shoot it. A lot, Get of, it all out of, the a way. lot of mouth and then breathing she'll... going on. Like a little, a little panting. Yeah, some panting. <laughs> a lot of sweating. Nope. And then don't touch your eyes. Just the wine or whatever bottle is. I don't know what bottle this is. It could be anything. It's just dusty. <laughs> just don't touch your eyes after you touch the spicy. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the shark. Ah! No. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, out of, out of game, I have something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> you said eyes. <laughs> it, it oh, triggered it. Yeah. No. Ugh. Pour myself a glass of mystery bottle. Yes, uh, don't can, move on to can, her. Can you make me a roll, Revka? Yeah, what role do you want oh, to no. make? Is it poison? <laughs> it's, not, it's not poison. It's it's not it's not poison. I'm I need not a constitution. I'm just and if you it. have constitution drinking, that works too. You know, I thought about taking it, but then I thought about other things, and I was like, well, let's take these other things. Mm-hmm. So let's just see how this goes. Fifteen. Oh, nice. you're fine. It kind of burns, and you can delineate the burn between <laughs> of alcohol from the burn of everything else you've just been ingesting. But yeah, one burns down the throat, the other burns in the mouth. Yeah. You can I told you Rathcliffe could handle her booze. Yeah, she'll sip on this. This is a sipping beverage. This is... I think, I think as time goes, it's more eating and drinking, and I think by the end of the meal, Delma is probably... We probably just don't has... realize how hungry we are until we yeah. start eating. Yeah, probably. She's probably like three or four ales in. Yep. One of those nights. Um, throughout the night. Oh, it is one of those nights. (laughs) No doubt, no doubt. (laughs) Um, throughout the night, you, um, you can see that Vashard is trying to avoid eye contact with Cecilia. That's fine. She's 100% avoiding eye contact with him, too. She knows she fucked up, so she's just, you know that thing you do like when you've made a mistake and you know you've made a mistake, but you don't know how to fix it, so you just don't talk about it or look at it or do anything with it and hope to God by morning it's just fixed? Oh. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. If I drink enough, I'll forget all about it. (laughs) 
If I continue to drink this wine, then I don't have to feel my feelings. That sounds like my plan. <laughs> hmm. So, yep, they're just drinking and. Revka's being know, the responsible one here and just sipping on this beverage. <laughs> well, everyone Dalme else will like, be like, okay, hey, don't feel hey, it. I need you to keep up. I feel like one of us should be half sober. Are you proposing some kind of drinking game, Delmay? Yes. Yes. Oh. <sighs> but also, Revka, I'm sure this, there's some magic we can do. To For hangovers. I mean, No, there's... but like if, if, you know, if it's so much that, you know, a bucket of ice can't fix it, I'm sure magic can. Professionally irresponsible, but I'm on board. We're not. We found the thing. We're fine. But that was only a symptom. It was not the cause. Yes. We're not going to find it in the middle of the night. Revka but told me. Revka told me it was. There's another thing behind what? the thing. What? What does that mean? If someone it... bound it to the window. Yeah. Like, it, it is not something belong. it normally does. Correct. Yes, what she said. The smart one. The, 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 the she said it. Revka said it. This, it was her <laughs> words. She, she told me this earlier. This wine is very strong. Hmm. Um, Revka, are you, are you sure you don't want to drink some, play this drinking game and drink some more? What is the drinking game? Um... I am tempted, but... Truth or drink? Wow, Pooja, you are really trying <laughs> to break this entire team on the third episode. Do you have anything that emphasizes the drinking part of the game? That's typical. But... <laughs> As... Sorry, I'm just really enjoying this role that has fallen upon me. As as the leader of this patrol, I agree with Delme. <laughs> That something like truth or drink would only serve to strengthen the bonds between ourselves. Absolutely. And, uh, and maybe don't want to tell the truth, just drink. Oh. Yes. All right. Would you like to go first, then, tell me this is your proposal? Sure. Who wants to ask me a question? I thought you asked the question. No, I have the choice whether to tell the truth or drink. Uh. Do you miss the Pavin Wield? More than I would expect, yes. I'm instituting a rule that I drink every time someone tells the truth. So here's a sip. Uh, uh, okay. That is a choice, but I, you're an adult well, and I respect your decisions. It's a game. I have to, I guess. I could ask you a question that would make you Drink. But I, it, unfortunately, Vashard asked me a question, so it is his turn to answer a question. Who wants to ask Vashard a question? Don't you have to ask since he asked you? Is it Not necessarily. Circular and yeah, that will become circular. An order but if nobody else has a question for him, I'm happy to ask him one. Can Asen do magic? We're going well already in the paint, aren't we? No, I'm right. kidding. I just wanted to drink. No, I sent you through magic. <laughs> oh. Yet. Uh, yet. Revka. Yes. Do. What is the thing you miss most about Kern? Hmm. Probably my father. Can I check if she's lying? <laughs> there is a role called perception empathy or communication empathy. Hmm. 
Yeah, because you know, Fashard is awesome at empathy. <laughs> uh, so that's a 19. Apparently he's Whoa! awesome at empathy. Oh, a 19. Okay, I'm not awesome at this. Rolls really well. <laughs> Is she lying? No, that was that was an honest answer. Vishard is actually the impressed. rules of the game. <laughs> <laughs> She's a woman of honor. <laughs> uh, Cecilia has not answered yes. the, the question. Okay. I am an open book. <laughs> that got me. That got me pretty good. <laughs> Does anyone have a question for Cecilia? Oh yes, I do. If you don't, no. I, I the have shot. one too. Cecilia. How many other times in your life have you mm, cast sorcerous magic? I'm sorry, that's your quest. I thought yes, this was I, a fun I have, game for I have fun to ask, children. I have to ask, how quiet is Delme <laughs> when she asks that question? <laughs> well, she's not yelling it out loud. She's not drunk. She's, she's she's very like, hey, we're playing this game. Um, how many? And I suggested it's a legitimate this game question. for a reason, is what tell me. Is. <laughs> so not you're not it, shouting it because you're not drunk, but you did say it out loud. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> if anyone asked, I was joking. <laughs> I think Cecilia is going to very quietly sit up. Only twice. Once on accident. I don't know what it was. I read it in a book. It turned out to be a cursed book. And some sorcery happened. And the second time is why I don't have family. So. What about to today? The, the truth. I asked how many other times. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't hear that. It's like your drug friends arguing. It's like, I said other times. That was the rule. Not today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Delmi does say that I will drink to your honesty. Your turn to ask, Cecilia. Oh, yes. <laughs> the claws are out. Well, now she's got a think now don't I <laughs> Bashard mm -hmm. when I first asked you to try my new therapy thing why did you say yes This is probably the first time Cecilia has actually looked at Vichard this whole evening. I think, yeah, Vichard is gonna uh, keep her stare up, like, look at her in the eyes, too, and uh, say... Because I didn't think you could hurt me. told the truth. Now you have to drink. Those are the rules. Um, and I do so love those rules. Rashar? Uh, what? Question. You, your turn? No. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Um, Um, 
Fashard is gonna finish his his drink like the entire like tanker. Yeah, like has. two bottles of more mead in front of you. So. Yeah, sets it down. Yeah. Says, "All right, <sighs> Revka." Why do you hate me? There's a a bunch of expressions that just flicker across Revka's face briefly. I don't think <laughs> Why? Never mind. Other question. Other that that one didn't count. That one didn't Wait, count. But that, that that was your question. No. Yeah, I... let them have another one. It's okay. But the yes. rules that you stipulated at this this drinking game began. Okay, fine, Bashard. Hold on to your question. Rafka, ask your question. Uh, uh, Cecilia is going to rules lawyer us. I'm just saying that rules were stipulated I, I at the just, beginning of this event. I've spoken uh, truth. You need to drink, Cecilia. Um, I, just... <laughs> I did my part. I need Cecilia to roll. <laughs> I was going to say, she's just drinking for everybody's truth. What's I, happening here? I find this whole thing constitutionally... I rolled a 13. You're still upright, but you're entirely blitzed. Uh, this is fine. I'd like to make an amendment to my rule that I'm no. going to drink of this water cup. No. That is perhaps that is the healthier nice. option. The uh, you can drink just... that when other people say truths. And then... Yes, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. it's and very drink cold. alcohol when you don't want to tell your own truth. My face is very warm and this is very cold. So it feels very nice. Just enjoy that moment then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, uh, Ravka? Uh, um. Dilme? Yes. How close to the queen is your father? Um. We went. I, okay. Out of character. I'm pretty sure we went there because of my mother? Uh. So, um. He's. In and around the court, going on because of my mother, but uh, hmm. I don't. I wouldn't say he's best friends with her or anything. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> my turn. Richard. Mm. He's opening up another bottle. What? What do you know of your parents? Sweet fuck all. Hmm. Is that something you've wanted to... Oh, I can't ask you that next question. I apologize. It is your turn. Let's, um... How about we try to keep this game to, uh light-hearted and fun questions. Not having fun? There are things I would rather not... Here's a question for all of you. Well, hmm. hmm. All of us? No, wait. Vashar okay, Simon is going to roll randomly because even in Vashard's mind, there is no uh, like person in particular he wants to ask the question, but he's, um, he's curious. Two. So that's going to be on my overlay, one, two, Delme. Mm -hmm. Delme. Do you have a crush on anyone here? Ooh! <laughs> that's a listen. That's not true. Cecilia would not make that noise. <laughs> this is 100% me not being on mute. <laughs> Feel that. Revka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
well, 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 my little mentee. Go for the drink. So proud of you. Revka takes a drink at that. Well, no, I was asking you. I didn't. I did, Revka was not the answer to my question. Oh, I, okay. Sorry. <laughs> the drinking. No, no, no. I, yeah, no, no. The drinking that I was doing was the answer to the question. Oh. Revka is now the subject. You of just my looked next really question. thirsty. Is all I'm saying. I oh, see, aren't we all? <laughs> uh, Revka, Ooh. for you. Um. Okay. This one's not really a question, but it's a. It's a little rumor I've heard, and you know, ah, yes, what I've been would asking be... questions about the rumors I have heard, so I thought it was within the boundaries. I, of the I'm, rules. Yeah, what what friend would I be if I didn't just ask you directly? Um, you had problems before with gambling. I would not say problems. No. Would somebody else say problems? I do not think so. Okay. Right. I mean, gambling is not something typically upright citizens do. Hmm, a so. friendly wager, though. Maybe an occasional friendly wager, but not not like gambling. Fair. But it is your turn. Ah, I get to ask another question. Hmm. Mm. You could huh. ask the one Vishard asked, but to somebody else. That was... Hmm. She looks conflicted, like, ah, do I, do I want to ask that question, though? <laughs> <laughs> this team-building exercise is so completely unprofessional. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that it is or isn't, but... <laughs> we're not... We're asking if there's crushes, like... Oh, here is a question that is less. It, how forward. many times have you not asked your coworkers? Do you think anyone we work with is hot? Well, I've never I mean, that asked that with... once in my life. <laughs> okay, I work with a lot of lawyers, so we spend a lot of time together. This is the thing that comes up. No, yeah. no, it, it happened to at work. Um, my with your friends work. at work, not like with your yeah, with your friends, with work. your work friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't really friends. like I don't think any of my coworkers know this exists, so I can say this safely. I don't really like my coworkers that much. Someone clipped So this. we wouldn't have this conversation. Fair, fair enough. Whereas <laughs> two of my best friends in life are people I met as coworkers, so slightly Aww. different. I, I delivered pizza. That. Uh yeah, that topic came up a lot. Um hmm. mostly about customers. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> uh, I think Rafka would go, after, after the weird question Vashard asked, <laughs> Vashard, uh -huh. how, what do you feel towards me? What do you think about me? <laughs> I see. My only problem is that right now, out of game, this is coffee. I know! <laughs> they literally said in the chat, now I need alcohol! I, like, yeah, I've been on water. I need to go eventually <laughs> top off this water so that way I don't just have a prop. Which is about what's gonna happen with the next one. Yeah. Um, sure I just keep coffee. getting nervous and sipping my drink incessantly, that's all. Alright, alright. I get to ask another question. Um... Let me just get my character sheet up. Um, I know, I'm like, what rumors do I have? <laughs> Takes a, a couple of sips and says, No, not this one. And he would just look, like, nervously at Delmay saying that. Um. Mm, mm. 
I have, I, I have, um, a question for, for Delmi, yeah. Yeah. What? <sighs> Why do you enjoy the company of humans more than animals? Like, why did you leave? I I, I love animals. Um, I, I love Whisper, but I didn't leave because I like people better. I left because I was a child. And my I parents a, took me. You could have stayed with, um, you know, what's his face? The guy that. I have to find his name. <laughs> you you could have stayed with. with old what's man, his face? Old man Bran and. and. and Hazel and me. And I was a child and I stayed. You just left for a forest of stone and. and, and people and noises. Mm, but also really good food. And <laughs> but you know, I I thought honestly, I thought I would come home more. But mm. life got in the way. But I want to go back. I think it would be nice to see what's left of home and our people. It's not been the same. Can I get a perception check from Revka? Please. I would love to. Is it using my eyeballs? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm so glad this is the way we ask that question Eight. going forward. <laughs> with one <laughs> per while perceiving with my eyes. Am I perceiving with my eyeballs? Eight. Oh boy. Not you great. would notice that the glass as the shard the, puts it down, the color of what he's drinking is not what he started with when he picked it up. What color is it? It's not like blue or green or anything crazy, is it? It's it's a little green. I, I would say it's definitely on the greener side. Uh. Uh, the shard. What are you drinking? I don't know. Ale. Is what I asked. It is green. Do you drink oh. green ale? Mead. Hey. I thought you were. I thought you were drinking mead. It's like it's... moss. Moss ale thing. Oh, uh, maybe green. that is not moss. Mead. <laughs> I have have Aeson smell that. Hey, brother. What does this smell like to you? Uh, he sneezes. And kind of, you know that face that dogs make when they smell something entirely abhorrent? And just kind of goes... Uh, Vishard, can I get a constitution roll from you, please? Oh, this yeah. is also the face that my cats made when I uh, put in my beard oil for the first time earlier. <laughs> did you did you see one jump on my desk tonight? No. A solution has been found. <laughs> oh, kitties. Um, all right. You said constitution. Would that uh, count as stamina? Not in this case. Okay, just checking because Would it the be shard. Carousing? No. Uh, for once, oh, for I once, I did not put carousing. Oh. Um, it's but no, I'll just, I'll just uh, say it again because the shard has a focus in stamina. That's good to know. That's that's great to know. Um, that could come in handy. Should that? But also, get the nobody in subplot. character knows this. <laughs> no. So uh, here goes nothing. No, that's pretty much nothing. Twelve. Twelve is actually good. Your 
Revka, as you're looking at him, his yeah, can eyes I, if, are If crossing. he looks like he's going to fall, I'm going to catch him. It and maybe the glass, too. And then I'm going to investigate that. It looks... See if it's poison. Well, let's put it this way. Vashard, you have a choice at this point. You could fall. Or you can lose the contents of your stomach. But you are disoriented you are not f you're not fully poisoned but you're definitely walking that line of um, really really good opioids after having been to like the dentist oh I'm gonna fall I'm not gonna puke Kitch. okay if Ruff is gonna catch him I'm immediately going to I'm oh yeah, Dalmay's going for that. I'm going for I'm I'm sobered up into medical mode, baby. And <laughs> yeah. that's where we're going to pick up after the break. <laughs> See you. Does anyone all. want to take a drink for drama? <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back. Hope you are refreshed. Hope you have a beverage. But I wonder what will happen now that Vishard is... Well, Vishar, did you choose to uh, lose it or pass out? I'm going to pass out. Vishard is unconscious. Catch him so he doesn't fall off his chair. Delme is going to... I think Cecilia had mentioned before that she was going to jump up to tend to Vishard, in which case Delme is going to grab the cup. Yes, to, grab the bottle. The, bo the cup and the bottle to investigate what Vashar just drank. The bottle is a very fine mead. The cup mm -hmm. is definitely not that. I think it was some oh. more of that strange magic because it was fine. He drank. It was not fine. And then he drank. Um, can I... Do um, I don't know what what I can roll here, but you could roll natural sort of... lore. You could roll arcana. Lore. I have arcane lore. Arcane lore. Can I tell if it's poison? That would be a natural lore. Uh, so an intelligence. Because <laughs> I don't have any intelligence. I don't think my. Thing uh, but that's fine. I'll arcana. still roll. There we go. Eight. We go. It could be. I don't know. Thirteen. With an eight, you're not sure if it's poisoned or not, but based on his reaction, he is unconscious. It's very, it's obviously not something that's good for him. Um, mm -hmm. Unless there... this is just night, like a little sleepy time, get some rest. Y yeah, uh, <laughs> he's probably not so good. Uh, with an you arcane I... lore, oh, uh, with the arcane lore. Uh, uh, Delme, it's not natural, but it's made from natural things. Do I get that whiff of wild magic that I have in other places? Okay. Yes, it smells like that, you know, that, that, that heat lightning kind of stench or the, mm -hmm. that, like, electricity in the air. I'll take a whiff, and I will tell Cecilia, um, I, I don't think this was, well, I'll tell Cecilia and Revka, I don't think this was targeted to him in particular. I think he just had very, very bad luck, but that we're not done yet, that's for sure. No, 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 no. Um, is there perhaps a room we could take him to so I can... We did need rooms for the night anyway. Yes, well, I you was do need rooms for the night. You anyway. ask about rooms. If you get one, I will. I will carry him up there. Do the sovereign? How does this work as sovereign finest when it comes to rooms? How do we stay at places? Where do we yep. stay in places? Yeah, um, you basically kind of. Um, it works on the you build home office kind of world. <laughs> They're gonna love this okay. tab. Oh yes. Well, this is. <laughs> oh, come on. We are a small company of the sovereign's finest. But also, what do they think happens to soldiers who get sent to small towns? They drink. They fuck. The the, the they alcohol. Do what they're supposed to. The alcohol bill is not usually turned down unless it becomes quote unquote excessive. Which is back. usually tied to not so much the alcohol bill, but if somebody had gotten so violent, you know, if there had been a mm. bar fight and there needed to be repair damage, Here's, yeah, that would get thrown yeah. onto the yeah. bill. Um, yeah, it, no, no one's trying to submit dom receipts to work right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, nobody's nobody's pulling crystal off the top shelf and doing anything exactly. like that. Exactly. No. no, no, no. Leave my words right. were the strongest and the largest, which usually to me implies a tiny <laughs> cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Okay, well, um cheap and mass produced. This give me the moonshine, please. I will help um, Refka the, get I'm oh, sorry. As you are start looking around, the gentleman behind the bar has come over to you. Um mm. 
Is there, is your friend all right? Oh. Is this a good time for me to roll healing first, just to like see what, <laughs> just to like assess the damage before we answer this man's question? Yes, he's fine. Oh God, he's dying. Like uh, we don't want that. <laughs> 18 with, I got to pull up the stunt points in case there's anything I need out of it, but I, I don't believe so. Um. With an 18, he is unconscious. There is slight sweating, but not bad. He is definitely ingested something that is not good for him, but is not yet in 100% danger, but you aren't sure if maybe this is something that might change. Can I can I use the stunt points that I earned off of this to do new friends to sort of um, mm -hmm. get this bartender to essentially help us keep this quiet and get him upstairs? Because yes. he looks he looks like a strapping man. Yes, he yeah. is probably about six seven, six eight. Oh large boy, shoulders. Okay, I'm five two. This He's man looking is down upon you. Massive. And you're sitting down, probably right. And I'm. Well, yeah, or I pressed probably, him a shard's side, Yeah, probably. we're probably standing up, crouched so, down. So, um, the question becomes, does Cecilia have a uh, focus in strength for climbing? <laughs> I think the question no. also becomes... No, but I do have stamina, baby. <laughs> My I god. I needed, I needed to make that joke so that way we got it out of our systems. But more importantly, I'm going to befriend this bartender and be like, please, whatever room you can Ooh. get us to that is the biggest and the comfiest and the most private, and we can keep this as quiet as possible. Perhaps not tell our employers that um, something happened, because eventually they're going to ask. Anything you can do to help us, sir, please. Hold on. Please, sir. <laughs> please. <laughs> he just kind of nods. Um, now I have a question. How tall is Vichard? Very good question. Um, I have it in his stuff. If you would just give me my two big seconds. question was, but is the but is the barkeeper in owner hot? And then I opened up the NPC document, and the answer is yes. The answer uh, is hell yes. It's, uh, it's under persona. If you put it in the character sheet. Yeah, I found it. Uh, he's five nine. So this gentleman just kind of nods at Cecilia and says, "My name is Kazmati." And he will, pleasure. with one arm, just kind of put an arm around the back of Vichard's shoulders and use the other arm to kind of, like, bridle carry him up the stairs. Um, because the worst thing you want to do with someone who has gotten sick, either from alcohol is, or from anything yeah. else, is a fireman's carry. Which Revka wouldn't done. She's decently strong. Oh, Delme was going to lay Richard out on Asen, honestly. Uh, this is a better option. Yeah. yeah. Upstairs, probably. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice, private, cozy room. And if there's any other healing things I can do offhand, I mm -hmm. will... Um, when you get upstairs and you can uh, lay Richard out, it's a very nice room. It's a very nice room. Uh, double bed, curtains, window that kind of opens out onto, you know, on the second floor opens out onto the market square. The Kazmati nods and closes the door. And you kind of look around and you realize you asked for the best, quietest, most comfortable room. And it's kind of what you got. Small town. I'm sure there's no other VIPs here that need this room right now. Small no, town. no, we're the v You we are, are the, the VIPs. VIPs. But there's only one bed in this room. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll deal with that, <laughs> that not, later. That's not my problem right now. That's, I'm, I'm not the stage manager. I'm not the <laughs> deciding who sleeps where and what does what. I am Look. I have a goal Rebka right now. wants it's... to suggest, wouldn't it be funny if we all just clambered into bed and then when Far Shard wakes up in the morning and be like, well, don't you remember what happened last night? Um, oh. I actually... Oh. I, 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 this I, entire I, scene I, was like, 
I player ahead of time. Oh, I player want that to happen. I, I Celia, not thinking not, about it right now. She's not saying it. Delmay she's just and Pooja are it. like, yes. <laughs> Well, we She's did have a fair amount to drink, and if we all slept in the same bed, it would be good for comfort and lumbar you know. support. But also making sure we wake up Keep at an night eye to on check on the him. shard. Yes, yeah. yes. Because well, f first things first, we need. I need to finish my examination of the shard, yes. and then we can talk what about wild sleep magic. I will go That's bring good. up our drinks from the table. Good oh, idea. Please. Yes, please. You have the bottle, do you not, Delme? The yes, and the cup. Very well. This seems fine. This not. Okay. With that's um, good. With that healing check, and as you get him laid out on a bed with slightly better lighting in this room than in the main room of the tavern, which, you know, it's a tavern. Most it doesn't. It's not like it has great overall track lighting, or you know, you know, it's not designed for people to see everyone. That's really not what you want in a tavern. Mm. But up here, the lighting is better, and you can see that Vishard has started sweating and I need Vishard to roll me another constitution check, please. Vishard keeps opening Asin's window and then seeing Asin's plus three in constitution going like, God damn. <laughs> I will take a nine. Oh. He is sweating, and Vashard, at this point, you are dreaming, but oh, they the are not Christmas. pleasant. Oh. And they are fragments and thoughts, voices, and you remember those wervern cries, and you hear them again. You smell the burning village, you feel the cold, but you can't get out of it. You are currently trapped in these visions. And... Oh. You can see that he is reacting to something, but you do not know what he is reacting to. Uh, you might definitely possibly believe that there's some sort of hallucinogen in effect. Um, I was gonna try to psychic contact. Okay. Vashard, do you have your you have your psychic shield up, right? Nope, not anymore. Not anymore? Nope. Okay. So, so then you can do psychic contact, it will be in, it, it, you he doesn't have to take it down. Okay, so I Psychic Contact, let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. You can make contact because you are very familiar with this particular individual. Well, to an extent. And he's right there. Um, Bashard is, as you make contact across the psychic plane, it's dark and windy, and there's a feeling of coldness, Delme, as you move through this. It, it feels like moving through cold water. There, you know you've connected, but there's a, there's a, a distance there. And then you start to smell the, the, the burning you hear cries of waverns you don't see anything and then you see Bashard. but he's younger maybe three four years what did Bashard look like three or four years ago yep hmm um almost the same in the sense that he um you know he was probably um had less facial hair um and his hair was a bit wilder like he didn't back then didn't need necessarily to uh 
I was going to say groom himself. No, he, he was still clean, um, but didn't need to present um, as much as as right now. Like he he was still in the pavement wheel, the pavement wheel, and uh, and up the mountains uh, with a a group of um, a group of other finests. Um, you know, appearances weren't were the least of his concern. Um, you would notice uh, that Asin is with him, though smaller. Um, and uh, Vashard was wearing back then a hodgepodge armor made of uh, fur and animal skin, reinforced with a few bones uh, in places where, uh, you know, you would have like the heart and uh, the lungs mostly. Um, his clothing was, for the most part, all hand-sewn. Um, the only thing that is the same now as he had back then in that image would be the cloak. Though it was a little newer back then. Um, and uh, otherwise, he, he his face is a little more youthful. A little less wary. But he's not seeing you, and you can tell that right away. No. His can eyes are tracking him? something that you cannot see. Can I call to him? Uh, Vashard, could you roll me a perception hearing? It will be a high TM, however. He doesn't I'm, seem to hear you. I'm back. <laughs> this is um, almost like the lowest. Um, okay. Uh, one, I guess one more thing I could try is, so I don't know, and a DM, you can tell me, which one would be more useful here, mind reading or heart reading? Probably, uh, you could try heart reading. Let's do heart reading, then. What? Two things you haven't done. Opposed. It is an opposed. Um, Ooh. Yes. Uh, opposed by what? Um, Heart reading, you said? It's willpower. I'll look, I'll look uh, that up. I don't have it right here. I think it's willpower. Heart Hold reading. An opposed. Oh, re there's a resistance, willpower, self Willpower, self discipline. Willpower, self discipline. Okay. I don't have any self discipline. Does it show? I mean, I got a ten. Yeah, ah, you, fail. you, you connect. What do you want to know? Well, I think all heart reading does is let me read um, his emotions and what he's feeling and going through. Mm -hmm. You could use it to get the sense of truth, which I don't think you need, but it just trying to get the emotional atmosphere and like what he's going yeah. through. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I want to try to get as much as I can since I can't talk to him. I want to try to get gather as much of what he's going through, what he's feeling, uh, what he's going through. Um, yeah, I just said that. So. You can connect. And what is Bashard feeling in this moment? If it's the time that I think it is, um, Vashard is very much thinking that he is not making it out of this alive. And there's this um, hesitation between, you know, going forward knowing full well that you know it might save it might save the life of of countless people but the fact that there's a might there means that he could just turn tail and run it's certainly not russ who could force him to stay i mean the guy's a bird um I could I could tie him up to a rock and that that's it. 
Um, but in in this fear and in this moment of realizing that you know he can make a difference even if it means it's the only difference is going to make like that sort of shifts his resolve into trying his best so there's there's this flight or fight flash in his eyes of really like a um you know like a cornered animal who decides, do I give up my litter to a predator? Or do I at least try to fight back? Okay. Um, I think Delme will open her eyes back to the room she's in. And say that, um, he's, he's a fighter, but he cannot hear me. I don't know what magic this is, Cecilia. I don't know if you do yet, but it's it's got a hold over him. And he's stuck in the past. I can't get through to him. Does this ring any bells of a specific kind of magic that would do that? Otherwise, I think I'd like to I'd like to attempt some healer stuff. Uh, roll me natural or Arcana or natural lore? Either one. No, I don't Can I also do arcana lore? Since I do have yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say you have arcana lore. I don't, so I don't have the bonus to go with it. I still roll a 12. Yeah, you both roll 12. Um, well, and two spells. With a 12, lore, you lore. both. It seems vaguely familiar. It seems I can, like, like picture, I can picture the book. That yes, is. it's it's a book. It's an old book, dark. And you shown it to me. Black leather. You pulled it because you were you were when the invasion occurred. When Kern invaded, you wanted to know about possible. Um, possible things that the Kernish army could use, and these were all about ways and tools of the Kernish army and Kernish forces. This, what you describe, Belme, mm-hmm. it sounds familiar? Yeah? Well, Have you I felt guess. it before? Can I make a check of some sort to see how much I know about this? You can. What check would you like me to make? Oh, illustrious Ooh. GM. Ooh, for Revka? <laughs> yes. Revka, Revka. Hold on. Yep. It's not using my eyeballs, is it? No, it, it, this is Hold not on. about using your eyeball. No. Would it not be your mind's eyeballs? Your mind balls? My m- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm 12. <laughs> you did, no, you did I this. Too. I, I take I no responsibility too. for this. So, I, so, I own it. Yes. Ravka, which for you, it can be perception seeing or, or intelligence historical lore. <sighs> Um, well, we just talked about a bunch of balls. I guess, technically, that's my better step, but I feel like intelligence historical lore is more accurate, so I'll roll that one. Um, ten with six stunt points. Ooh. Uh, Those are useful, though. Let me see. You get a re-roll, I think, if you spend so many yeah, of like them that advantage? way. Three. Right. Three. Yeah, I think it's um, three for advantage, right? That makes me wonder, uh, that's a perception test. Do, 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 do. Um, I could do. Mm, yeah, that's a perception test. Um, there's. Uh, I could receive a plus one bonus to further test to examine or perceive additional aspects 
of the object of my test. So I'll do that. I'll do the object of my attention and like, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, makes me wonder if I can. Cause I got a bunch yeah. of stone points. Okay, so I can reroll and get a plus one for my next thing. Yes, okay. for your next question. So Ten. And I get a plus one for the next thing. <laughs> Ten, Prax. It, it smell like, looking at this again and what they're saying, it smells familiar. You, you know what this is and you're like, Oh. But now you have information, oh. Revka, and you need to decide what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Um, I see that. And then Prax is like, I'm just going to leave now. Um, oh, yeah. Good time. <laughs> um, it, is, it is familiar. Um, How familiar? It's very familiar. Look, people, I don't like blowing my nose in front of you all. Um, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you literally left to like, be like, okay, I'm not going to let my things give anything away. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, she, Prax is already very good at not letting her face give anything away. It's just always cued on that, like, I will cause problems on purpose and wait to see what consequences I can drop face. Nope. It is a, um... It is something that the Karnish, uh, the military, would sometimes use to bring people's worst memories up to front to try to weaken their minds, their defenses. What what can I do to stop it? Because I, I have Oof, one possible idea, to, but if there's there something you know that works spell? against it. Um, if it's already in the system a puking, you could you could you could uh, force him to vomit if he has a gag reflex, I do not know. Um or you could it could be sweated out. Um it is like fever. You want to just get it out of system, like a detox. Okay. Very well. Um can I use then body control and aim for speed speedy recovery? Which I think is a target of eleven. Otherwise you just wait. It will not kill him. I do not want him to wait and suffer. Yeah. Revka, do you yes. think? Do you think this means our wild magic source is correct? is Karnish? I was wondering that, especially with the um, what we were seeing when we were walking through the woods earlier mm -hmm. today. They may be Karnish. How familiar did what? Vashar, what I saw in Vashar's mind and what I experienced walking through the woods, like, were they geographically similar? Like, I guess, was our stroll through the woods in You this couldn't see what Vashar saw. You saw Vashar. Okay. And it would, but it, for what your perspective of it was like a black room. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh. And you saw Vashar focused on So something. only me and Vashar saw well, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no. No, no, no that's when I went into That's what Vashar's... she was asking about. Yeah, oh, okay. when Delmay yeah, yeah. went into his mind, okay. all, he, all she saw was the black gotcha. room. Gotcha. Everyone saw what looked like Kern. Cool. What looked like Kern. Okay, okay, so. Just clarification. When you were yeah. teleported. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now that I fixed my sheet so that body control actually worked, I rolled a 14, which does beat my target that I'm trying to beat to speed up this recovery. And I got some stuck points. You do know. indeed. Um, so here's the question. What do you want to do to speed up this recovery? How do you wish to use body control? What are you? What is your medical attempt here? Are you attempting to force him to sweat it out more? Or are you attempting to purge it himself? I think for the vine, as it were, I think I'm going to hoist him up and have him vomit it out. I will hold buckets. Yes, so I'm just going to turn to the two of them and it's like, I need you to get a bucket right now. Uh-huh. It's not for I me. Leave. It is It is not for me. Um. Yep. 
No, I just go get a bucket. Stunt points yeah. I want to use. And, uh, Cecilia, how can I help? Is help there a mirror hold... in this nice room? Help me hold it. I assume on the ceiling, given the kind of room we're in. <laughs> There's not a mirror on the ceiling. There it's classy. Nice... Exactly. Plus, it's, you know, like a canopy bed, so. Yeah. Yeah. But there is a very, there is a, like, beveled, round mirror that kind of has a a pivot on the vanity mm -hmm. against one and, wall. And canopy beds normally have, like, little curtains on the side yes. that you can tie someone up with? Okay. Yes. Lots of ropes. Um, and posts. Anyways, I get a bucket. And on the way out, I think she catches a glimpse of herself in the reflection. It's just like, ugh. And then just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. Dum so. Dame will help Cecilia and help get Richard up. I think I have the stunt points. I kind of want to keep them for a passion and inspiration in case I need to do anything else to help solve what this specific magic is. Because with all of the the four stunt points I have, I can get plus four. <laughs> or no, plus I can get plus two? I can get one on my next action for spending it, and if I just use the rest, I think maybe I can spend it on the next thing. I think that's how that works. At this point, when he come, when Revka comes back with the bucket and you begin purging, oh. um, the shard is unconscious, but he seems to be sweating slightly less. From your perspective, Vishard, the memory becomes more and more distant. It, it's no longer something that you're trapped in, it's something that you actually remember and can control, right? It's a bad nightmare, not a bad vision. But you are still asleep. Cecilia, you're pretty sure he's not going to wake up anytime soon. I... I think I might go back to my spells really fast. There is another form of body control that will, will allow sleep without any more dreams or anything like that, and I think I just... As much as I would love to, like, reach in and get a sense of how he feels, even unconscious, I think she would she would just instead try to give him a, as dreamless and calm a sleep as possible. And just knock him out. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try that one more time and just make sure he's well, tu he's well tucked in, essentially. And he goes to sleep. Go sleepy. Go, Go sleep. sleep. No dreamy, dreamy. Sleep. So no dreams. Nothing to haunt him. All right, Bashar, I go to sleep. You do go to sleep. You, as you would feel it, as these nightmares kind of soften even further and further. There's this lulling sound of the woods, soft quiet of the trees. sound of Aeson's heartbeat under your ear as you fall asleep. And you are and sleeping without dreams. And I send a whisper up to curl up next to the shard as well. You can indeed. What are the rest of you going to do now? Are we all gonna uh, climb in bed with the shard? <laughs> well, it's already the shard in two wolves. I don't think there's room for the on the bed for us anymore All with the wolves. three of us. Maybe well, one Well, Asen person. is, I don't know, is Asen in the bed? Because I just said it sounded like, you know, pleasant dreams oh, it's kind of thing. Like... Yeah. Kind of pulling, but I thought Vishard would have a pleasant dream of. Um, um, tell me he's still a little tipsy. No. Asen, Asen would be looking out for Vishard. Mm. Since, you know, when they travel and everything, it's 
you know, sort of this uh, keeping watch thing where Asin goes to sleep for a while, Vashard stays up, and then we do the... Uh, so he's not going to be nuzzled against him. He's going to be nearby, probably by so, like, the foot of the like, bed. Yeah. Next to the bed, in front of the bed. Yeah. So, Tipsy Delme, being full of the wise ideas. Oh, that we got Tipsy Delme, like, blitzed Cecilia, and he came mostly out of... sober Ravka. <laughs> she is going to turn to her two friends and mm -hmm. just say, well, with... I think it'll be good for him to have Whisper there, and so I can take the little sliver of the bed that's left. Mm -hmm. Why don't you two go get another room? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, very well. Uh, Kazma I can ask Kazmani for another room. And I will let you know if, well, Whisper, even if I'm asleep, Whisper will be able to sense any yes, if there's anything changes in his heartbeat or anything, yes. Anything at all. Just come and get me. I, I I will knock and come and get you. All right. So I will go get another room for me and Revka. <laughs> you can... You, Kazmati will definitely set you up with another room. Probably the one next door. Um, Why else is Cecilia this good? Is it also a, <laughs> okay, I need to ask. Is it also a single bed? We'll get back to that. What does Delmay want to do while you're gone? <laughs> She's gonna turn to Revka. <laughs> it just like you. Uh, I know we're not playing truth or drink right now anymore, but uh, oh, the game is over. I mean, we could play it still. I have my drink. Okay. Do you have yours? I have a beverage. Yes. I'm sorry, I did not ask if you wanted to spend the night in a shared room with Cecilia. It is fine. Just fine? There is no problem. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping for some excitement, at least. I am... She is very drunk. It, that is fair. That is fair. But maybe... You could have a good conversation with her. I was planning on talking with her while she is blitzed. Mm. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you. Tell me. Do you need anything? No, there's a there's a corner of the bed. There's a wolf. I'll be fine. Mm. Delma just like doesn't even wait for Refka to leave. She's just like, I'm a I'm a lie <laughs> down. Just takes now. her shoes off. Like, all right, yeah. <laughs> You're pretty well. So Refka will grab the bottle, whatever's left of the bottle that Cecilia was drinking from. And Delmay will hold her own bottle out too, because he's now that she's turning in, he doesn't need it. Put good news. Right, take that <laughs> water and then get ready to move into the, the room next door. So, so what's the bedroom next door like? <laughs> they're connecting rooms, and they both are single beds. But they're but they're sing. Well, excuse me, they're double. Mm, they're double size. beds. They're queen yeah. size. Queen size, so you can fit the wolf. The, the shard and the delme in the bed. Um, this room is the almost a mirror of the other. Mm -hmm. Connecting rooms, connecting doors. The beds are on opposite sides, but they look very similar. Revka, you notice that this room is done in blues while the room next door was done in reds. Okay. Well, I hope you don't mind sharing a bed. Apparently that is the accommodations of the evening. I would not be the first time. Oh, no. No. That's, but, you know, one, one asks because that is the correct thing to do. Yes, it is, it is perfectly fine. Would you like either more beverage, uh, wine, or water? I'll take the water as in... You should probably take the water, yes. Well, there was just a patient that just came while well, drunk, so I'm going to put the wine away. At least he will not remember you being drunk because he was unconscious. This is true. Mm. And as far as I know, if the spell went correctly, he will have a very pleasant sleep. No. 
just right. I heard that somewhere, but I don't remember where. No worries, just right. Sounds really pleasant, doesn't it? It does sound pleasant. Like a... Like an ideal. Yes. That some would hope to achieve. And I'm like, looking at her, I'm like, how blitzed is she? Like... <laughs> Like a five, you know. Okay. You see someone get poisoned, and they kind of it kind of takes it you out of that. Takes you out of it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. But you're still a little. Ooh. It's still just like there will be a hangover. I know that much. Yes. But I'm not right. like drunk feeling. She had to check before she asked certain questions. Um. So today was quite a day, was it not? Oh, yes. It was... It was something, I believe. I don't know about you, but I have not had very many missions away from general areas of the capital. I have not been to the capital much. No, it's... it's lovely. At least not in the past few years. Well, it's... Sometimes I find... There's nowhere in the world I would rather be. And then sometimes, I'm very grateful that Russ talked me into seeing the world, you know. Mm. I can understand this feeling. You yourself so being somebody that has seen more of the world? Yes, I have traveled a, a decent swath. I mean, no more than two countries, but... <laughs> more than me. More than, more than most. But. But. You, you did something earlier today. Many how things. You did, but. How did you feel when you cast sorcery? It was awful. No. No, you know what? It was... It was easy. I... I, I don't like that. It, it, it's you do easy. not like easy? I don't like that specific skill coming to me easy. Mm. But that... Look, I'm an academic. I have read many books in my life, and I will continue to read as many that I can put in front of me, because knowledge is truly the greatest power of them all, is it not? And I, it's very valuable. I, I have... I see no flaw in learning about something in the theoretical atmosphere. It, it's important. I mean, how else... You know thy enemy, after all. I mean, I, I... That is true. I, you know, I have to study diseases in order to find cures for them. I must, I must know how even the dark side of magic works if I want to be a master of it, truly. I do not fault you for it. I was merely curious about your I, I, feelings it, on it. It came so easily. It it shouldn't come that easy, and yet it was. It was so. It it was. I was looking for anything, anything to prevent Elme from going. I don't want to go looking for another student. I've I've never had a student like Delme. Most of them don't listen. I've. They don't do their homework. They don't show any interest in, in what's anything. It is something has happened to people that there's just a lack of general curiosity. But that's neither here nor there. What it is, is I couldn't imagine a world where I would lose Delme. And I couldn't imagine a world that would lose Vishard. Vishard is my only... Oh, that's sad to say. He was my only friend for a very short amount of time. You know, I, I don't have a lot of them. There was there was Jalen for a long time, but I'm sorry, the queen. She became the queen, and, you know, I always... She, she would invite me to things, but we were never... No I'm one surprised. Else... You seem like the type of person who would have many friends. I've never really been very good at friendship. And truly, until Jalen was my friend, I don't think I had much use for them. 
Um, one does not spend their life in a library because they are the darling of the balls, you know. I suppose so, I could understand that. So I suppose that the idea of losing two of the only people that I have any fondness for that seem to return said affections. Wait. I went for something that was easy and not something that was correct. And that is not who I am. You did what you felt like you had to do in the moment to protect your friends. Yes, I suppose. I suppose. I'm slightly surprised to to discover such a well of emotional literacy between you, Revka. I'm afraid that the sort of... Well, I always assumed you were the kind sort of person, but I didn't expect this, I suppose. What did you expect? <sighs> a doer, not a talker? A sort of, um... You know, the, the kind of person that gives you the shirt off their back and not so much the one that gives you the the words that you need to hear. I do plenty of doing, but sometimes talking needs to happen as well. I suppose so. Are you alright after? Just homesick. Aside from that, though, I am I am fine. Are you, you well, right? If you want, <laughs> Cecilia, you could roll a uh, <laughs> perception, empathy, or a, mm, if you really want to know, you could roll a healing on her. I don't want to roll the empathy, because I'm not trying to be, like, sneaky about it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a sense of how she feels. Oh, I didn't roll the empathy. I don't think it rolled the bonus. It didn't. It didn't roll the bonus this time. It just rolled. You could have also rolled healing if you didn't want to roll empathy. Oh no, yes. I did want to roll empathy. Oh okay. <laughs> so like, so eleven. Oh, <laughs> okay. An eleven. 11. I'm not trying to psycho it. Well, I am a little bit psycho. A little bit. You, you, just a little you bit. Are attempting to psychoanalyze her. I would um, like a little psychoanalyze <laughs> as a treat. Mm -hmm. Just as a treat. Uh, with an eleven, you have noticed that her eyes are bloodshot. Um. She's a little shaky, but not bad. It seems odd. There's something off, but you're not sure what. Bless you. Thank you. Revka, you, you can... And I say this in the gentlest way possible. You you can say how it beyond homesick if you need to. It is. I have just felt many things I was not expecting to feel today. That will do it. Old friends, uh, shard hitting. Do you know why he thought I hated him? Uh, I'm afraid I cannot tell you what he's oh, revealed. Has he spoken to you about this? Not, not anything specific. Just specific. a very vague sort of. We don't really. T we've talked a lot about other things, but again, I, it, I, I can't tell you the things that he's. Because I very much do not hate him, and I do not know why he would have that idea. But I just a lot of little things. A lot. Of little things today. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I will feel better tomorrow. I'm sure. I'm sure. And I, I, I think Vashard, he's, he's a very interesting person to have in your life. And I, whatever it is that is the problem between you, will I'm sure present itself in some way. Or another. I know Delmay and I are on good terms, and I believe that you and I, I am sad to not be considered your friend, but... Oh, um, well, it, it's not like, no, that, that's not what I, I meant. I, I'm a, I, 
it's just I've known I've known those too much longer, you know, and um I I was not sure what you thought of me after what happened. It takes a lot of bravery to do what you did today. I, I suppose. And it takes a great deal to face feelings you're not expecting to feel. Yeah, they come at you fast. nothing new. <sighs> Just because it's not new doesn't mean that it's not something to face. I almost forgot I do need another couple rolls from Cecilia. Uh -huh. Oh, is that so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need those fatigue checks. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, where, where, where be, oh wait, it's on the thing. Am I gonna um, catch Cecilia too? Or is sweeping I don't everybody know. We'll find feet? out. <laughs> well, Wait, I didn't write down fatigue for... It's, if you go into the Arcana, it, you just click the fatigue button. I'm just gonna click <sighs> it on something. Couldn't hit mute in time. Sorry. Oh, for a 20, for cure, you're fine. You are, yeah, you're fine. No fatigue from the magic. I'm not sleepy. You're sleepy. She says in drunk voice. Yes, yeah, I am so, yeah. so sleepy. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> Are you... So, then... Rivka, am I allowed to call you a, a friend? Because, I mean, I'm a... It's fine if, uh... You know... Well, I had considered you a friend, so... Oh, well, that's... Yes, I like... That sounds... Was there any anything else, maybe, that came to mind you are very drunk you should go to sleep I am <laughs> I am well much more sober than I expected to be given it's not nearly as sober as I am <laughs> just guiding her to the bed but very well I suppose how have you know that I am much more sober than I was perhaps not an hour ago. I would believe that. Yes. Tuck blanket in. Revka? Yes, Cecilia. Will you put my glasses on the nightstand? I'm very... I will put your glasses on the nightstand. Okay. <laughs> Pulls them. <laughs> yes. them down. Takes them. Revka. I will get ready for bed. Yes. Can I ask a question that is indelicate? Very much not of my normal, and you can chalk it up to the alcohol. I do not mind indelicate questions. Can we at the very least, what do they say, cuddle? Yes, but I'm getting you a glass of water and putting it right next to your glasses. I appreciate that. I... RFK will put the glass of water there and then get ready for bed. And... We'll let the doors close and the night falls. You all sleep comfortably. Vichard without dreams. Everyone else has very, well, everyone else dreams. Revka? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need a willpower self-discipline test, please. Oh, do you? Twelve. That's not my best. It's not my finest. I have six stunt points. I don't think you that helps me out here at all. Points. And but... in this particular case, it does not do a lot. But no. what it does, no. you hear a voice in your dreams. Do I? What does this voice sound like? Your father. Oh, him. Cool. Praising you for your skills saying how pleased he is for everything that you do how you are such a bright shining light and a blessing upon your family unlike others he could mention and 
and there's just this feeling in your mind that he is pleased with you. Oh, how comforting. Mm -hmm. Delme, could you roll me a willpower self-discipline, please? Yes, I can. Um, she doesn't have that, and so she has a general willpower test for her. Twelve. You dream as well. Mm -hmm. Your mother seems happy with you. She is pleased for you with your what you're doing. You have chosen the right path. E impulsive. E e impulsive. As you feel it. Cecilia. Oh, is it my dream roll? Yes, I need your dream roll. Will power hey, look at you, Vichard. You are dream not three. dreaming at all. 18. I did I did my best to help you, Vichard. Yeah, he, Vichard doesn't dream at all. Uh, Cecilia, you do dream, and you know it's a dream, but even more than that, you know it's not from you. Someone sent this to you. Oh. And you are at home in the library in the gentleman, tall, distinguished, swoopy haired. Uh -huh. A gentleman you remember. Alexei. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. And he has come with roses. A dozen. And you look at them and they're like... They look blue at first, but then you blink and they're not blue. They're fading. They're, there's this gray tinge to them. Ooh. And Alexi isn't quite right. It's that he's smiling too much and he's talking about how you're going to get married and won't it be so pleasant as you, you know, Oh, is he? Make a life for each other. And you're like, this is not how this that is... interaction went. Not at all. I, I don't remember roses at all. You, well, you remember roses, but they were definitely blue and they weren't yours, right? This tall, distinguished Vatasha with his floppy hair and is not those blue roses weren't yours well that's not true you did carry blue roses but he didn't give them to you and you're like this is not right someone else is doing this And I need Revka and Delme to roll me a constitution uh, stamina, please. Oh, I don't have stamina. <laughs> I don't me neither. need it. Um... I do have well, Revka, oh, I think boy. we can work on that. Uh, I rolled bold. Just, Revka's just really out of practice. Delme rolled a nine. I rolled an eight. Yeah, <laughs> We need lots of practice, tell me. Uh huh. Revka, I have a question. I have an answer, baby. Is that is that your actual role? Because I for my constitution stamina at this moment in time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Hold no, up. No, I, I don't, don't think, think so. it is. I don't it's think not. it is. It's not. That's right. It's not. That's not my role. Nope. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yes, it is. It is. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, there's something off here. That, well, that is yeah. true. Um, Delme, you and Revka will wake up. Mm-hmm. You will oh, have, good! <laughs> you do. You good. will both wake up. You will have one point of fatigue, however. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was not a restful night for either of you. <sighs> Cecilia, you wake up. You, um, you each recover your, um, recovery hit points, which are, hold on, I need to check. Uh, it is... So now, in addition to just bloodshot eyes, one of them has a popped blood vessel. Oh, yep. after oh. That night. yeah. So recovery hit points, um, Revka and Delmay don't get them, right? Yeah, I don't need any. I didn't take any damage. Uh, I yes, baby you do not, Revka and, uh, Revka and Delmay do not recover recovery hit points. Cecilia will, and so will Vashard. And your recovery <laughs> hit points is, um, 10 plus your constitution plus your level. And plus two for the Vata. Vata yeah, on. and if you're Vata mm. on or Vata Sha. Well, the Vata, I think I just go back did to not back, make but I need I the things. So. It's um, 10 plus your constitution plus whatever your level is. Uh, so if you're not a restful five, night so you're for the Vata of the group. 15 yeah, plus your constitution. It would be 15 plus your 15 plus your constitution. Yep, I'm back to so. And plus two if you're everybody but Cecilia. And Revka and Delmay do not recover. Ugh, I'm so tired. I know. But, um... Did I kick you in the night? Sometimes I'm a little restless when I sleep. No, no. It's just my dreams. Your dreams? I, I just kept waking up convinced Vashard was gonna die. Vashard, I have a question for you. Uh, yes! Oh. Uh, you don't Ugh. remember anything from the night before. I slept like a baby. <laughs> ah, tell me. What? It's alive. What? Thank you. What's? What's going on? Mm, you got poisoned by wild magic after our game of truth. Or, well, during our game of truth or drinking. And then we had to bring you up here and Cecilia had to heal you. And hey, you're alive. She's not evil. Yay. And I slept terribly. What game of truth or drinking? This makes me open an eye, and I look over at him. Oh, that's a shame. (laughs) Oh, buddy, we learned some stuff. It was great. You got some dirt. But it shall never be repeated. I need some fresh air. And uh, he's gonna like make a beeline <laughs> for the totally the bump into Revka in the hall, oh, because shit. that just makes it far more awkward. <laughs> uh, uh, Vishard, can you roll me a perception, please? Crap. Is it tracking? Not in this particular case. It can be seeing, however. Yeah, no, I don't eyeballs. have good eyeballs. <laughs> I wear glasses, and I know I have bad eyes. Revka looks horrible. You have never seen her hungover, but she looks almost like that, but that doesn't make sense because you've never seen her like that, even when she has ingested or imbibed. Uh, hi, morning. Oh, good, you're not dead. Uh, um, 
how confused does Richard look? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, Delmi tried to be helpful, okay? Oh no, I understand that. But how confused does Richard look? <laughs> Does it look like he remembers truth no. of drinking? No, no, no. When he's looking at um, Revka with a mixture of fear and apprehension. In that case, then, Revka is going to be like, mm. well, last night was quite a night. Put a hand on his shoulder, but I'm glad we were able to come to an understanding with each other. Mm. We we did mm -hmm. you were like why do you hate me and then I was like I don't hate you in fact it's quite the opposite and then you know things happened until you got poisoned so wait which we should have breakfast <laughs> and then she just goes down the stairs I think this is about what Cecilia would kind of uh -huh. look like yes. she needs a coffee. It We're not giving like... Richard a break. <laughs> no. I just see Richard and be like, oh, oh, you're awake. Oh, oh, um, she, she's still not looking him in the eye. I, I'm, I'm so sorry you had such a, I, I, I did the best I could. Um, so I, 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 I understand if you don't want to, but I would like a, 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 a follow-up appointment, if you would, to, to make sure that the poison is completely out of your system. I've I've learned some things about it, but... I grab Cecilia by the shoulders. Uh, oh! Okay. Cecilia, you have to tell me. What happened last night? We, we... I trust you. You don't seem like the kind of person to get shit-faced. What oh, do you remember? We played a game of truth or drinking, and something gave you some kind of Kurdish poison in your... Yeah, no, 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 the game, the game. I'm, I'm interesting about the game, not which, the which, poison. Which which part of the game, Vashad? There was a lot of things that came out. Delme wouldn't tell us who she's in love with or has a crush on. I don't really... Delme's remember. in love? No, I think she just has some kind of schoolgirl crush, but she wouldn't say on who. And Revka uh, seems to think that you hate her, but I, I don't understand where that came from. Because I don't get, I understand you have some apprehensions, but I didn't think you hated her. Uh, there's, there I were, got it. what have I said? I didn't say much of anything, Richard. <sighs> you, 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 the only thing you said was that you thought I couldn't hurt you, and admittedly, I think if if there hadn't been other alcohol consumed and other questions asked, I would have lingered on that for longer than I did. Um. She's she's like not looking at him in the eye anymore. She's she's she looks like she could cry. I think Vashard would, if she lets him, he would hug her. And just would... say in her ear, please, no more sorcery. I, I thought I would lose you. Still not a good idea. Well, I made a terrible choice, and I won't make it again. I would hate for you to lose yourself in this downward spiral. I... I won't go down that path. I believe I owe you a story, but not now. No, I... There have been some development this morning. I, um... I think I need to... Go outside for a moment. Very well. I am going to drink a lot of coffee and eat anything that is greasy and fried that is put in my face because I have a, just the slightest bit of a headache.
drank a lot of wine last night, Bashard. It was... It was... It was... Do you remember the the Sovereign's Finest? Before we did this, like, about a month before we did this mission, they had that one gathering for the Sovereign's Finest, like, right on the edge of the Pavin Wheel, and everybody just... It was a, a nightmare of drinking. Yeah. It, yeah. I think um, I drink that much. Did Delmay choose to sleep in my bed? Yes. Yes. She decided to keep a watch over you. Just to keep a watch over me. <laughs> Cecilia will just smile a little. Yes. Yes, I believe so. Hmm. But then again, like I said, she didn't confess to who her crush was on. And neither did you. No one asked. And if you said anything to me, I wouldn't have revealed it anyway. Oh, I wish we could face the window again instead. Okay. I'll be outside. Okay. She'll just, like, pat his shoulder as he walks past and... Oh, God, I need to eat. And just go down the stairs. Like, give him space and then go down the stairs to the food. Revka. Yes? You went down yes. first. I did. What do I find down there? There is a wonderful breakfast spread prepared. It is, in contrast to the night before, is very interesting and very non-local feasting. This is very much... There are... There's bacon. There's, there's bacon. Eggs. There's eggs. There's biscuits. There are grits. It's like you went to the Waffle House. And... Ugh. Three o'clock in the morning Perfect. after the bar's closed. It is yes. pots of coffee. But I need you to make me a perception seeing test. <gasps> With my eyeballs? With your eyeballs! With your eyeballs. Fifteen! Cool. That's pretty good considering how tired my poor eyeballs are. You My poor are looking shot. out the window. Yeah. As, you know, just kind of coffee. Look out the she window. She drinks her coffee black. Nice and bitter. Mm. You look up. And you aren't sure for a second. But then you are. That's... Fedor Aslanov standing in the middle of the market. <laughs> and that's where we're ending for tonight. <laughs> oh, no, what? what now? <laughs> do I know who that is? I don't know who that is. I do because of my notes from last time. But I'm pretty oh. sure Fedor was Revka's fiance? Question mark? taking notes last time. Is it a free action to hide? Uh, <laughs> oh look, I have no decks and no stealth. This is fine. Uh, it's fine! <laughs> oh my god. And I'm positive. So I see. It really cool. looks like him. And I mean, love to see him looking the way you do right now. I mean, there aren't a lot of Vata Shah really here oh that's yeah. true yeah that's a very good point yeah yeah the busted blood vessel and the fatigue nothing like running <laughs> into your ex when you're not looking your best <laughs> <laughs> in fact or actually actively looking your worst oh uh, you know we're not gonna answer that question um Alrighty. Well, Hi. next week. <laughs> Things happen. We'll see what happens. So, how we all doing? That good, Ugh. huh? Apparently, Delmay's just. I was doing really well, and then I came downstairs for breakfast. Like, 
I was doing really well, and then I finished coming downstairs for breakfast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And really well subjective. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm great. Delmi is it. Oh, I'm fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well then, thank you all for coming. Thank you all my wonderful, fabulous players for playing. I will let everyone go around and uh, tell me where you can, we can find you and, and give some love. Share some things you enjoyed about today because this I enjoyed every minute of this. Um, let's go in the opposite order of the way we started. So let's start with, hey Pooja. Thank Hello. you for being here. Thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, everyone who don't know, my name is Pooja. I've been playing Delmay for the last three weeks, and I will continue to do so uh, for the rest of the run of this game. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Pooja and uh, at Pooja Baraki on Instagram and in the Twitch chat. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You can find me. Um, besides here on Sundays, on Saturday afternoons for the next month, the month of February, I will be playing in a four-week short run of a Star Wars uh, series um, on the flights on Flights of Fandom, so you can check that out at manapotstudios.com, and I'll have links and stuff in my Twitter account. And as for what I enjoy today the most, um, I think I just, I really enjoyed the way that game of truth and truth or drink went i i like we had talked at the end of last session about how we were gonna just carouse and drink and i don't know i feel like delme has quickly turned into my id on a stick so uh yeah sorry about that um so it's just gonna be very impulsive and uh what i think Delmi does what I think makes the least amount of sense in any given moment. So I really enjoyed how everyone leaned into that and it was a great time and good RP. There was some real good RP today. Well, thank you for being here and thank you for Delmi's it on the stick because that's a phrase that I'm going to remember. It'll be great. It'll be <laughs> so great. Hey, Lissa, thank you for being here. Thank yes, coming. thank you for having me always. I always love playing in any game that you will let me play in. I am always excited to do this. It is so much fun. Um, to get the boring stuff out of the way first, hello, I'm Alyssa or Xander Slamilton on Twitter, on Twitch. I lurk in your game sometimes. Sometimes I say things, sometimes I don't. You can also find me on Instagram at Xander in the Wild. Um, sometimes there's art, sometimes there's loot, sometimes it's just pictures of my cat. That's just a thing. Um, other than being here, I am Tuesday on channel Other Doc for Urban Shadows. We just had a very amazing session zero on Tuesday, and we will be back for session one on Tuesday, where I will be playing Manny Carangelo, the fae seamstress slash tailor who just really likes bread. Uh, so I'm really proud to be playing essentially my grandmother. Um, is what I've learned, is what wait, that wait, game wait. is. I'm sorry, what's her name? Manny Carangelo. Manny, okay, I heard a different name first, and oh. I was gonna... Oh, no, 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 I'm not bringing back Franny. She stays <laughs> where she stays. Um, as for love for this game, not I back Franny. loved everything about the truth or drinking segment so much. Um, but I'm also just here for a good bottle episode like this. It was so much fun. Everybody is just... I have never failed to be in awe of how amazing and talented everybody is. And this was just, that was just essentially getting to like hang out with the cool kids times 10. So this was amazing. Thank you all. Well then, uh, I support being the cool kids on occasion. Um, but then, uh, fabulous and wonderful. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I feel attacked. Um, <laughs> wow. I, it's fine. It's a, it's, it's, it's good. Um, definitely ended with Revka. Just like sip of coffee, looking at the market, and then just dropping said cup of coffee. Um, 
We might begin next session with her just walking right back up those stairs. Who knows? I don't. I have a whole week to think and deliberate about it. Oh boy. Um, truth or drinking? Oh my gosh. I think I really, as much as I loved the truth in drinking, I loved just the little snippets of everybody the morning after. The little bits we got of, of Vashard panicking, what happened last night? Uh, of Delma being like, oh good, you're not dead, I slept like shit. And then Cecilia, the the, uh, the the shwasted person, explaining to the blackout person, like, I think this is what happened. But Delma and Revka might tell other stories, we don't know. Um, and I also just loved how Cecilia, she asked, friends anything else and Revka's like girl you didn't even consider me your friend like of course I'm not gonna say anything else at this point in time heavens to Betsy um so I can't wait to see how things continue to develop I loved <laughs> throwing the shards some panic I can't wait to see how that plays out in the future um which is next week and I also oh god next week so you can find me online thinking about what I'm gonna do uh, La Laugh Love Lindy on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, etc. We had our season one finale of Aliens last night, which was really, really awesome. Stressful, intense, and awesome. There were so many aliens. So many aliens. It was, it was just bad. Um, but good. So you should check that out. Uh, also, every week on Tuesdays for some Ravenloft, we'll be coming back in February, which is, starts tomorrow, with um, Mondays in Exandria and just other campaign stuff here there. Check me out here on Praxis channel on Wednesdays for Witcher, where <sighs> things are all so bad. <laughs> there's a dragon. I, there's a dragon and the town's under a sleeping curse and I'm not sure which situation is worse, this or tonight or Wednesday night. So you can tune in to both this Wednesday and this Sunday and I will tell you after both episodes have occurred, which one was actually worse. Thank you. Thank you for that, Lindy. I'm I'm glad you are thinking about such things. Um, I can't wait to see what happens Wednesday either. I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, hey Simon, how are you? How's Rashard doing? That's pretty much Vashard's um No captions, I said Vashard. Not va the vast shard. shard. I mean, it's getting there. It's, it never gets Revka right either. It's like oh. Richard, but with a va in front. Like how? Ah, oh, screw you. So anyway, I'm Simon <laughs> at Wandering DM. Um, you can find me uh, next week here for uh me freaking out and being conflicted because uh. I don't know if my childhood sweetheart actually uh, has reciprocated feelings and, and now I'm conflicted about v Rivka because she said something this morning and that, that opened the door and I'm glad Cecilia's not evil. Wide open. And, um, yeah. So, um, I think he's going to swear off alcohol for a bit. Um... That said, you can find me uh, tomorrow on my channel, twitch.tv slash wanderingdm at 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. Eastern for uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, our D&D uh, &D campaign. Then on uh, Wednesday, I'm over on Unmade Gaming at 8 p.m. for Cyberpunk. I'm also producing a show with Sirenscape and Artas Orion on Thursdays with an incredible cast of players and an even more incredible GM uh, you can check that out on twitch.tv slash sirenscape at 8 p.m. Eastern again. And then again at 8 p.m. Eastern, more cyberpunk on Friday uh, as we continue our adventures in Cyberpunk Red. And then next Saturday is um, our first guest appearance on Scion over on Level Up underscore TTV, the uh, Level Up Dice Twitch channel. Um, check that out at 1 p.m. Well, thank you all of you for coming. Thank you all of you wonderful players for playing. Thank you all of you wonderful audience for watching. And hey, Tesla, thank you. Um, 
you can also, for everyone who always wants to know, we always have a YouTube. All of the VODs go up there. Thank you again, everyone over on YouTube. I really do appreciate everybody watching over there. Um, I will say, hey all, you know me. I'm at DeirdreJonlin on Twitter or Praxcore Thesmiophoria as you see me around on Twitch. And you can find me on back here on Wednesday for some Witcher. And yes, there there might be a dragon. There, there, it, it's a thing. It might happen. Um, I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, and then you can find me on Friday over with Simon for some on Wandering DM for some fabulous, uh, wonderful cyberpunk red and trends and trends and jinx are totally going shopping. Just throwing that out there. Um, and then back here on Sunday, because I can't wait to see what happens. I know it's, well, I know what other people are going to do. I don't know what these people are going to do. I don't know. <laughs> Ref is going to cry, apparently. <laughs> Crying is always a reaction. Um, so. Also. You guys don't pay attention to overlays, do you? Catch you next time, everybody. Bye!